there's not much wrist break in this shot, so it's almost like a putting stroke. Forgive me if this isn't any good, but this is my first shot in two days. I do that too, but then you do the forward press. Yeah, and yeah. That, yeah I, I always struggle having my hands too, mm -hmm. but instead of moving my hands, mm -hmm. I move my body forward okay. uh, instead right. of the hands. Okay. I, I mean, everybody's different. A lot of guys uh, do the hands, I just happen to do the body. Right. I like that. I like a nice soft grip. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing it a long time. Long time. Yeah. Long time. Yeah. The only thing I would say is maybe a little wider stance. Just a little bit. So usually when it comes to a drop pad, uh -huh. I always try to lock it this way. Uh -huh. Just just to limit my movement. But then yeah. the, most of the time I will pad this way. Yeah. Uh -huh. What we plan to do is first we do a group photo and then we'll split the group into two groups of four. One group will go to the putting and one group will stay in the chipping. And then halfway we will rotate the groups. And we will. So usually we set up the outdress, you know, usually you have the hand first set up. But in that case, when you squeeze and then you squeeze in your waist, uh, the angle of the Yeah, I would say so. And you know, like, you kind of just want to get the nice posture where you're, where you're standing and everything hanging free, and that's kind of kind of where you grip a putter, you know? That's kind of how I feel, and yeah, when I do it, pretty, pretty equal in the hands. Some guys, you know, you'll have some guys, I know, like to be uh, Dave Stockton's a famous teacher, and he, he said it's kind of more of a left hand deal, but everybody's a little bit different as far as what you like. I like to practice a lot of putts. And you can, you can do it, especially for long putts, so your touch gets pretty good, just just with the right hand. <clears throat> and you can see how there's just a nice natural release then of the right hand as you go through it. And that's a pretty good drill I find, especially when I come to see that uh, every uh, the swing mechanism is exactly the same. However, okay. usually amateur uh, wanted to uh, make the high shot ball. They they use their body first, like like this, like open like is getting uh, towards the, the sky. So in that case, to make the topping and uh, inconsistent shot. But like I said, it's the same, exactly same theory. However, if you make a, a high launch shot, then it's open the, uh, the yeah. clock head open, then it's the same swing. Same swing. Then, always going yeah. to the top of the shot, you can see it. Yeah, is that, it's the same as a, a bowling approach. So you have to uh, keep your... Okay. 
자기의 그 도수에 따라서 어, 똑같은 똑같이 일정하게 말릴 수 있기 때문에 손목을 많이 썼을 경우에는 로프가 갑자기 뭐 위치도 바뀌고 That's a good one. That's what my teacher has me do sometimes when I get off of my putting. Um, because really, like I said, it's coming back to mm. how do you make it simple? Mm. That's the whole idea is that all we're trying to do, for me, I use a line setting up. So I'll line it up, you know, just outside left. And I'm trying to just get everything matched up right. I'm in a nice neutral position so that I can just make it and return it right to that same spot. That's all. Why didn't it go in? What's that? I'm joking. Sorry. <laughs> bad read. We're blaming the that's bad read. caddy's fault. You know? <laughs> At least he's going to make a good stroke, and it's up to the grass. Distance control is the most important, I'll say. And when you practice these enough, and when you know you're going to hit in the center of the face, you don't have to ever think about it. Yeah. Exactly. So, so you hit the bounce only when you let the club head go. I just keep coming back to the same thing. If you drag your hands at it, the leading edge is going to hit the ground first. So no bounce is being put. But if you keep your hand straight, and if you let the club face go, this part will hit the ground first. So even if you hit it behind the ball, the ball will still kind of pop out. It will always come out like this. And it will be higher. Then it, it depends. It depends on what short you want. And you want to hit a high one. Kind of found is my. I found my eyes is very powerful in creating speed. So I like to take really long looks at the hole because I, the brain's so powerful in taking new information. So when I get over here, I'll take a look. I'm taking another look to get that same feel. And then my last look, I make sure it's really long and my head comes back very slowly. I don't like the quick look because then that gets mechanics in. So I get my eyes really out there a long time. Slowly come back and go. And I, in nine times out of 10, I'm gonna get pretty good speed. And into the hole. Just out of interest, Perry, when, when you're tracking back from the hole back to the ball, are you are you looking at the line specifically and trying to imagine what that ball's going to be doing? I will track back like a, like a railroad track kind of. So I'm going to see that ball and I'm going to track like a small little railroad track on the way back, which kind of gives me a narrower focus of where I'm trying to hit. So, yeah. Yeah, tra tracing the line. Tracing a, lo the line a lot back. of guys putt very mechanically and they don't actually use their feel and imagination and putting is a lot of imagination really i'm sure is. you guys would agree why I, I, I like to get my eyes out to the target because you're you're letting your imagination take over and it's a very powerful tool to have. but nothing beats just getting out here and actually spending time yes. on these greens i mean you just you, you can't now, get better like by not putting you go out and play next time hit a couple up a couple down and i guarantee you when you're on the course your speed will be better quicker and you'll adjust quicker Uh, now uh, you will teach about the uh, 